Aside from the fine dust we're shrouded in in most of the days, spring feels to be in full swing in Korea. It is unseasonably mild, in fact, so that is one positive after a long and brutal cold winter. Today, we are going to do our weather report a bit differently as our weather caster E. Ji Hyun joins us from AT Yangje Flower Market Center. Ji Hyun, it must be excited. I mean, you must be excited to be surrounded by blossom of flowers there. Hello and good morning, Samin. Well, you know, it is one of my best mornings today, actually. And not to mention, this, most of flowers have the strongest fragrance early in the morning, so I am right on time. Actually, here at Yangjie Flower Market, they opened at around midnight, and they already had their busiest time of the day with the flower shop owners from across much of the country. And now it's more of individual customers who tries to decorate their houses with the spring flowers and spring gardening. But let's now talk about the weather conditions. Uh, yesterday, we were covered by toxic smog with an ultra-fine dust advisor being issued in some parts, including here in Seoul. Well, fortunately, the levels are not as high as yesterday, but we are expecting relatively high levels of fine dust, so be sure to check the levels before heading out. Temperatures will be a couple notches high Higher than yesterday, it's going to feel more like early April. And you really all need a thick jacket today and tomorrow, as it will be even milder with an expected high of 20 degrees here in the capital. And checking on today's temperatures, Seoul, Daegu, and Gwangju walk up to 6 degrees Celsius. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will make it to 17 degrees Celsius, while Daegu and Gwangju will top out at 21 degrees this afternoon. And before I go, you know, uh, just being here, uh, feeling very relaxed, and for some reason, you feel very welcomed by this lovely flower. So, if you are watching us here in Korea, why don't you stop by sometimes to here at Yangjie Flower Market? With that, let's take a look at the international weather for beers around the world.